on Darlene. Yeah, today was probably one of the most graphic days so far on this trial. The judge even having to give a warning to jurors on what exactly they were going to hear and see. That's because a big focus was on forensic pathologist Dr. Rebecca Ash Kendrick. She performed the autopsy on Victoria Martin's body back in 2016. And I want to say this right now, this information may be hard for some of our viewers. The doctor noted that Victoria's body was dismembered with her heart, liver and arms found in a separate bag inside the apartment. Then on August 25th and 26th came the official examination of Victoria's body, both internally and externally. She said that there were bruises, abrasions and fractures found all over Victoria's body, especially when it came to her neck. Take a listen. Abrasions on the left side of the neck. Uh, so kind of red there, also with some bruise. Uh, so that's scratches and bruises, always concerning. Uh, left, left and right sided. Now, reports show that no drugs were found in Victoria's system. The doctor initially asked for a toxicology report to find this out, but because of a lack of blood collected at the scene, she instead had to resort to a tissue examination. The doctor also talked about possible signs of sexual abuse. I'll have more on that coming up at 5. But for now, reporting live outside the Bernalillo County Courthouse, Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.